the ultimate superpower that you're learning to possess through this training is emotional intelligence as a skill, right? So STIA, for your listeners, you know, STIA is the process in which neural pathways form. So we talked about, you know, your brain, your brain set is a result, or your mindset rather, your mindset is how you see the world, what you think about yourself, your good habits, your bad habits. We all have a mindset. Our mindset is a result of our brain set, the anatomical structure of our brain. And that brain set is made up of all these neural pathways and neural bundles and neural networks, right? But that's what we can change. But as people are listening to this podcast, my voice is a stimulus. That stimulus is creating a thought. Those thoughts are creating an emotion. And then that emotion is driving an action. Am I listening to this guy? Am I not listening to him? Do I believe him? Do I not believe him? Do I, you know, like you're doing some kind of action based on the stimulus and your thoughts and emotions associated to it. And that's all humans are doing all day, every day. And most people, again, think back to that construction worker that's waking up in the morning and trying to jump right out of bed and get moving and turning on the news and they're in, you know, their thoughts are all over the place. Their breathing's very shallow. They're going about their day and there is no gap or space between a stimulus and a thought. So that means they are reacting to every stimulus, right? And that's how, that's this reactive world that we live into. And, and we live in a world that's full of a lot of negative stimulus, you know? And so, you know, I mean, there's research out there that says the average person has about 100,000 thoughts a day and about 75% are negative. Little subtle negative thoughts, right? All, so that's a lot of negative thoughts, emotions, and actions all day, you know? And what we're learning to do by creating space between a stimulus and a thought, this comes back to what we were talking about, Rob, with the mental defense, right? That gap, having the ability to create space between a stimulus and a thought, that's your mental defense. If you don't have tools like the BAMO breath to create space between a stimulus and a thought, you don't have free will. You're at the mercy of all stimulus. Good luck, right? And so a good example of the STIA process in BAMO is, let's say you're that foreman and I walk out on the job site and I see one of my people doing something that they're not supposed to be doing, right? Now we can light them up, right? And go off on them. That might be something we, now we know how effective that is, right? Sometimes there is a time and a place for that. But let's say, you know, I come up, I see them, that's the stimulus. And my initial thought is this piece, of, I'm going to can't believe this mother, you know, and now my thoughts and emotions are that and my action is I come over, maybe even I hit them or I push them or I throw a hammer or I do something that might be a, a safety issue, right? Because I overreacted. Instead, I see that stimulus. I have awareness that it's getting me anxious, but I take a bam breath that creates the space between the stimulus, creates that gap. Now I have more time to change my thoughts, right? I can see the opportunity in this and I can say, okay, hey, maybe they're just, you know, they don't know I'm here. Maybe I can say this instead of that, or maybe I can coach them up on this. But what it does by you creating that gap is it makes me feel more empowered and less vulnerable. 